Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some exciting news about India's defense advancements. As per the latest news, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is going to deliver the first Tejas MK-1A fighter jet to the Indian Air Force in July 2024. IAF already operates 40 Tejas MK-1 jets which is older variant of Tejas MK-1A, but this fighter jet is really special because it comes packed with better technology like upgraded navigation systems, a more powerful radar, and tools for electronic warfare, which makes it very capable in different fight scenarios. This jet is part of a hefty contract signed in 2021, valued at rupees 48,000 crore to supply 83 Tejas MK-1A jets to the IAF. Today, we'll go deeper into what makes the Tejas MK-1A stand out. We'll compare it with other big fighter jets like the Rafale and Sukhoi Su-30 MKI and talk about its role in the Indian Air Force. So, let's dive in. Talking about its design features and capabilities, the Tejas MK-1A is a single-engine lightweight fighter jet known for its agility, making it versatile for both air-to-air -air combat and ground attacks. A distinctive feature of this aircraft is its tailless compound delta wing design, which greatly enhances its maneuverability. However, this design also introduces some inherent instability which is effectively managed by a sophisticated quadruplex digital fly-by-wire flight control system. This system not only stabilizes the aircraft but also improves its handling, ensuring safe operation even at the limits of its performance. This sleek fighter jet measures 13.2 meters in length, has a wingspan of 8.2 meters and stands 4.4 meters tall, making it both compact and agile for its category. Powered by the robust General Electric F404 GEI N20 turbofan engine, the Tejas MK-1A has impressive payload capacity of approximately 5,300 kilograms, which includes the weight of weapons fuel and other equipment. The aircraft's structure incorporates over 45% of composite materials, which significantly reduce its weight while increasing fuel efficiency and operational range. While the aircraft does not possess full stealth capabilities but one of the major upgrades in the Tejas MK-1A is it is equipped with advanced electronic warfare systems, which include radar warning receivers and self-protection jammers. These systems work much like a shield, helping the aircraft avoid detection and attack from enemies. For example, if an enemy radar tries to locate the Tejas MK-1A, the radar warning receiver detects this attempt and alerts the jet's systems. Then, the self-protection jammers can disrupt the enemy's radar by sending out signals that confuse it. The aircraft can reach a top speed of Mach 1.8 approximately 2,220 km per hour with maximum operational range of about 850 km, allowing it to perform extended missions. This range extends to approximately 3,000 km when equipped with drop tanks for ferry missions. However, its combat range, when armed and ready for battle is about 500 km, considering the additional fuel consumption due to combat maneuvers. It has also been upgraded with a special type of radar known as Active Electronically Scanned Array, developed jointly by Israel and Indian Defense Industries. It allows the aircraft to detect and follow many targets at the same time, even if they are more than 200 km away. The Tejas MK-1A fighter jet is designed to use beyond visual range missiles, such as the Astra missile. This capability allows the aircraft to hit targets that are far away, beyond the pilot's visual range. Although it does not have an internal weapons bay, the aircraft makes use of external hardpoints to carry an extensive array of weapons and equipment. This includes air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, and provisions for laser-guided bombs. Additionally, the Tejas MK-1A is equipped with a 30mm cannon, ideal for close combat scenarios. And also with a service ceiling of about 50,000 feet, the Tejas MK-1A operates effectively at high altitudes, beneficial for both reconnaissance missions and engaging high-altitude targets. The actual idea behind Tejas was to replace IAF's aging fleet of MiG-21, MiG-23, and MiG-27 fighter jets with the Tejas MK-1A. The decision to acquire approximately 100 additional Tejas MK-1A jets aligns with the IAF's strategic goal to phase out older Soviet-era aircraft, which are increasingly becoming obsolete and maintenance-intensive. When comparing the Tejas MK-1A to other fighter jets like the Rafale and Sukhoi Su-30 MKI in the Indian Air Force, it's clear that while Rafale and Sukhoi offer superior capabilities, 
The Rafale stands out with its versatility, high payload capacity, superior range, and advanced avionics, making it one of the most capable fighters in the world. Similarly, the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI is a more robust platform, able to carry a larger payload and designed for longer missions. The Tejas MK-1A although not matching the high-end capabilities of the Rafale or Sukhoi but excels in its cost-effectiveness and adaptability. It's lighter and more agile, which, along with its lower operational costs and simpler maintenance, makes it a valuable asset for replacing older aircraft like the MiG-21s in the Indian Air Force. Strategically, the Tejas MK-1A is expected to play a crucial role in strengthening India's border security, especially along the sensitive borders with Pakistan and China. The first squadron of Tejas MK-1A jets is slated to be deployed at the Nal Air Base in Rajasthan, a location strategically important due to its proximity to the western borders of India. India is also actively pursuing the export of the Tejas MK-1A, demonstrating its potential as a key player in the global arms market. Currently, HAL is in discussions with several countries, including Argentina, the Philippines, Nigeria, Botswana and Egypt showcasing the Tejas as a viable option in international defense markets. India is not just stopping with the Tejas MK-1A. The program is set to expand with more advanced versions under development. The IAF plans to integrate future variants, including the Tejas MK-2, which promises enhanced performance features such as greater payload capacity and advanced avionics. In conclusion, the induction of the Tejas MK-1A into the Indian Air Force marks a significant milestone in India's defense sector, showcasing the nation's commitment to enhancing its air combat capabilities through indigenous technological advancements. This fighter jet not only replaces aging aircraft in the IAF's fleet, thereby improving the operational readiness of India's defense forces, but it also represents a shift towards self-reliance in military technologies. Thank you for joining us in exploring the India's Tejas MK-1A fighter jet, if you found this video insightful, do hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more military tech insights. Your support fuels our content. Until the next video, stay curious and keep exploring.